Hi Sagittarius, this is uh, your July love reading for Sagittarius single, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Let's go ahead and just get started. So um, how are you viewing yourself in regards to your love life in the month of July? Um, things just aren't working out fairly. You haven't met that person that you just want to grow old with, retire with. Like they don't have those kind of qualities, okay? Now how are others viewing you this month? Well lucky for you. <laughs> They're like, wow, this Sagittarius is like potentially my soulmate. This person is deep. They are um, emotionally like balanced. Like they just get me. They're still single, mostly because they're sad and because like they don't, you know, see the benefits of being single and things like that yet. But you know, they're stable. Like for the most part, they're happy, um, maybe except for that they're lacking um, a long-term partnership. No, I forgot what I wanted to ask next. I wrote myself little notes here. Um, what is it that you want to avoid in regards to love this month, Sagittarius? People from the past and thinking about the past with rose-colored glasses. Like, so if somebody from the past is coming back into your life, you don't want to just remember the good things about that. You're going to want to also remember the real shit um, <laughs> because we're blinding ourselves to that. Um, and, you know, we're not super confident that we want to get back with them or that somebody is out there that would meet our needs in a long-term kind of a way that isn't them because we have this connection with them. But they're like, avoid that drama. You know, their exes are exes for a reason. Um, so what do you need to do to uh, attract love this month? And it says, do things totally differently. Like, don't go back to heartbreak. Don't have this mindset that you're going to be heartbroken, disappointed, things like that. Like, find your confidence because here you are. And um, especially as a fire sign, you know, where you are magnetic, like you are funny, people think you're charming, they think that you're just like a light of sunshine, that you're sexy, especially because the Empress is the sexiest card in the deck, her, her legs are open, but she's still kind of like um, modest and classy in her own way. People are just drawn to her, okay? So... So this is how other people are perceiving you. And so that's a really good thing um, when you're trying to draw someone in. So it's kind of just like be you. Don't feel or think negatively, like having that mindset, because with the law of attraction, that's what we're going to bring in. And definitely don't go back to people from the past. Um, what's working for you this month? Um, the fact that you've got your shit so together, <laughs> really, um, like on a material kind of, uh, um, kind of a way, like, you know, you've got a good job, you um, have a car, you've got, you know, a house, whatever. Like, you're organized in a lot of ways. Um, the only thing you're really missing is deep loving relationship. Like, you've got friends, um, you've got a good support system, like, you've got cute pets, whatever it is. Um, for the most part, there's, there's a lot to be happy about. And there's not much that you have to actually do to fix other areas of your life. It's just your love life. Um, and so, it's like... You just got to wait for divine timing to bring you the right person at the right time. And it seems like the only things that are coming in are more, um, are more messages or opportunities in regards to money, work, you know, things like that, vacations. And, and so, but what I think they're wanting to show you here is because those things are so good because you're expressing gratitude for those things because you just expect those things because you are so organized so you got your shit so together and you expect that it will stay together that you're attracting that energy. That's why you're bringing in these opportunities. So if you can just say, I'm forward moving, I'm going on from, you know, like some of you don't have an ex coming back, but some of you do, or some of you have regrets and things like that. But the more that you stay in that energy, the longer you're gonna stay in that energy. Does that make sense? Um, the sooner that you forward focus and say, okay, I'm gonna bring in love, you're gonna bring in love. That's kind of what it's saying. Um, so what's working for you in the month of July? And it says, um, that things are not going to be the way that they have been in previous months. Um, but you need to believe that to be the case. And you might be refusing to believe that because the more that you stay in this energy of like things are always going to stay the same, refusing to see that um, like new things are coming, new messages from other people. You see how she's refusing to see that blindfold will come right off. She just jiggles the shoulder, everything unravels. Um, and they're like, you just kind of abandoned 
maybe making these sort of um, prayers, wishes. And um, like you kind of just resign to the fact that like you don't have this love relationship and, and so therefore you're not going to. And some of you might be kind of defensive when I say that, like I'm manifesting this all the time. But guess what? You might be saying these things, you might be writing down these intentions, making affirmations, but if you don't truly believe in your heart, then it doesn't work. Because the way that law of attraction works is not just by saying things, by believing them. If it was just by saying things, we'd all be millionaires. Because we've all said that, I'm going to be a millionaire tomorrow. <laughs> but my subconscious doesn't believe that to be the truth. And so I wake up not a millionaire. Does that make sense? <laughs> and a lot of that is kind of like us trying to control and dictate the how, the when, the who. Um, so you got to release all of that, all right? Now, um, what's working against you? These beliefs. Exactly what I said. All of these are talking about the same thing, that you're just not going to find that person. Um, so... What is the overall outcome this month for us in regards to love? Okay, so basically it's saying for the majority of you that aren't going to take this message to heart, unfortunately, you're going to feel weak. You're going to feel like it's slow if it's coming at all. Um, you're going to feel like, I don't know why. I can't put the past behind me. I don't really have any new ideas on what I could do better to use this. I'm just not feeling this energy of love. But for those of you who are going to truly believe that person's out there, because likely they're already looking at you. You're already looking good. You know, they're already like attracted to you. They already see you like as ha as like a good partner, like a good vibrational match because you've got all your stuff together. Like if you, if you abandon this energy, you know, if you refuse to see it, you won't be making investments in love. But if you do and you really say, okay, you know what? This is coming for me. Like I deserve it. Like I believe that it's coming. Here you are with this confidence and then it can come and it could even come this month because this person's already looking at you. That's the sad thing. Whether you even know them or not, maybe they just saw you across the room somewhere. Um, but it's that emotional piece that you have to feel that you have to like make, um, almost like expressing gratitude in advance. I am so glad that my soulmate is coming to me. I am so glad that my soulmate has their shit together too, so that when they come to me, our life is awesome. I am so thankful and happy and filled with joy that, you know, somebody is out there that was made for me. Um, but a lot of you aren't going to do that. So, I mean, that fucking sucks. You reap what you sow. <laughs> All right. So what is our lesson in the month of July in regards to love? Cooperation. Co-creation. Right? Um, in your quest to manifest the energy of love, you have to realize that every person has experience and they have value. And so when we're talking about our past, because we're thinking about our past, whether that person is showing up or not, we can say that that person was valuable in my life because now I know what I don't want. Or now I know what I won't tolerate. Now I know where my boundaries are. Those kind of a thing. Okay, so we can step forward into something new. I feel like we have to pull a few more cards. Like, what are we not seeing here in regards to July for love and single Sagittarians? Everything's going to work out the way that it should. Everything's going to be fair. It's going to be just. You're going to have a relationship that is emotionally balanced, um, where your partner respects you and treats you right. You can attract that but you're not attracting it. So get to work, watch some videos on Law of Attraction, um, read some books, something like that, but, but really start expressing gratitude now for what it is that you are bringing in. Because if you say, I'm in the process of attracting somebody that's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then it becomes true. The reason, like I was saying, the reason why you know the things that we're trying to manifest don't come true is because we don't actually believe they're coming true, right? Like. So it's that simple. To make something that you don't feel, that your subconscious doesn't feel is true, you can make it true and you can feel a positive emotion for it and thereby draw it in. If you say, I'm in the process of attracting a soulmate. I am in the process of um, locating the perfect person for me. I am in the process of locating somebody um, that I will share my entire life with. Okay? So love and light. See you next time.
Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.